Hello, I'm Jacob Feldbauer from Team 901 Dubois Area High School, and this is our Simulink video. The drive system on this year's robot is a tank style drive with a precision mode and a direction toggle. The precision mode cuts motor power to allow for increased precision, while the direction toggle allows the driver to determine which end of the robot is considered the front to make certain tasks easier. This subsystem in the center applies the direction toggle in the precision mode to the motor values, simplifying the look of the main code. We customized a dead band function to maintain full power output and also add a custom slew rate subsystem. This subsystem slews the motor signals only if they are increasing. If the motor signals are decreasing, Unslewed raw values are passed to the motors. To make the system more effective, we change the sample rates on the inputs and on the outputs. For the scoop and shoot mechanism, we have the slew rate actually built in right to Simulink for it. And then we also have the limit switch for them. We actually have two limit switches on our robot, one in the front, one in the back. This allows them to protect the motors while also stopping it so that we do not unwind our double winch system and cause the rope to get tangled and possibly damage the motors. The wire valve portion of the program this year consists of a servo that unfolds two rods from the side of the robot. These rods have physical stops to protect the servo from being damaged if the rods contact the corn bin while driving forward. To protect the servos if they collide while in reverse, we employed a programming solution. This custom MATLAB function in the driving section monitors the direction toggle and joystick inputs. If the toggle is initiated or one of the analog sticks goes too far into the reverse motion, the wire valve servo automatically retracts the rods and protects itself from possible damage so that it can no way damage the servo. The dump gate is the simplest portion of our code. It simply uses a latch function to hold the gate fully open or closed. The last gripper uses a memory system to permit incremental positioning of the servos between two preset limits. Here you can see the simulation version of our code. This was used during the development to debug and perfect the code. 